In the beginning, there was nothing. Then there was an explosion. We don't know what happened exactly, but things started moving. The particles began to connect. New worlds were being born, as well as all kinds of stars, planets, stellar swarms, and galaxies. Many years later, when patience completely ran out, Earth appeared. She was bustling with millions of life forms, out of which, somehow, the human was quite a success. Mm. Hyenas, on the other hand, not so much. Humans were restless. Humans couldn't sit still. So they came up with families, tribes, and myths. They loved nature. They were procreating and wandering at night what else to do? Civilizations, cultures, and wars began. Later on, instruments, engines, and technological prosthetics appeared. At the same time, nerves cracked and bombs were dropped. Then it became unpleasant for a while, so there was a need for nature and meditation for people to catch their breath, to be good. Therefore, in 2018, on October 18th, a human opened a museum for other humans to watch what yet other humans had been doing with their lives. They said it was interesting. By the way, a little bit later, after a few billion years, everything was over and there was nothing again. Then there was an explosion. Eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hands. Experience drives the imagination to places wonderful, <laughs> joyful, and mysterious by seeing feeling and touching what is we picture what isn't yet and then questions flash gears turn pencils fly imaginations explode because we're inspired to figure out to invent to create and maybe just maybe, to make the world a better place. Museum of Science.